Good morning, uh, this is Dr. Rutledge, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the uh, Roux and Y gastric bypass, or the laparoscopic Roux and Y gastric bypass. Uh, many surgeons who support that and favor it and perform the Roux and Y gastric bypass call it the gold standard. And uh, that's a little bit amusing given that there are dozens of different types of weight loss surgery, of which uh, at the meetings where surgeons discuss weight loss surgery, there are certainly a lot of proponents, especially in the United States, of the Roux and Y gastric bypass. There's also lots of surgeons who are doing other kinds of surgery and lots of Roux and Y surgeons who are aggressively investigating different and new techniques. Uh, things like the um, sleeve gastrectomy that are designed to improve upon the weight loss surgery that's already available. So um, when one says the Roux and Y gastric bypass is the gold standard, you have to kind of take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. The Roux and Y gastric bypass involves cutting through the stomach and uh, leaving a small stomach pouch high in the abdomen near the chest, and then going down to the lower part of the abdomen, cutting through a piece of intestine, and uh, bringing one end of the divided intestine up and hooking it to the small stomach pouch, and then hooking the remaining piece of small bowel to the side of the bowel that was brought up. And that's a a very standard kind of surgery. It's been done for years and it's a good choice, but uh, the complexity of the surgery uh, has some disadvantages. Uh, there are some pretty strong uh, complications that can occur from it, and a few disappointing studies that lead us to prefer the mini gastric bypass. Probably one of the most concerning studies has come from the state of California where every Roux and Y gastric bypass patient was studied. In all of their cases, what they determined was that the chance of needing to be in the hospital doubled after you had the gastric bypass. So when they compared hospitalization for patients who had the Roux and Y gastric bypass, the year before surgery it was half as often as the year after surgery. So we're hoping, of course, to help people with uh, weight loss surgery. And it's really disappointing to see that the Roux and Y led not to lower frequency of hospitalization, but higher frequency. Now it is true that the Roux and Y helps people by decreasing their diabetes and high blood pressure and things like that, and a lot of studies have shown that. The disadvantage is that surgery itself comes with a lot of attendant complications, leading to somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of patients being back in the hospital in the first, second, and third years after surgery. These complexities uh, complications and bad outcomes are what lead us to prefer the mini gastric bypass. Our recent studies show that hospitalization rate, instead of doubling, is cut about in half after the mini gastric bypass, suggesting that the shorter, simpler, uh, lower risk mini gastric bypass has a lower risk of needing rehospitalization and another advantage over the Roux and Y gastric bypass. For more information, don't hesitate to call me anytime, email me, or visit our website uh, for more information. Thanks, and have a great day.